This example we're going to be about the animation. So just a quick example of how you can do animations in JavaFX. So I'm calling it JavaFX animation example. So again, just like we have learned in the past, JavaFX from the main method, you call the launch. And then your class has to be a child of application, which comes from JavaFX package. And then your program needs to have a start method. So this setup is always the same for all kinds of JavaFX applications. So we will be drawing a circle. So as opposed to first creating a graphics object and then drawing circle through a graphics object. Here you can actually create an object of type circle. Now when you draw a circle, a circle needs to have a center point from where the circle needs to be drawn. And then when the circle is drawn, it needs to have a radius. So what we can do here is we can call a built-in function of the circle class called setCenterX. So this basically tells us from the x-axis how much down I would like to come. Similarly, I can uh, pull a center Y and the meeting point of the two locations pretty much figure out where exactly I need to be drawing the circle. So the meeting point of the two is the starting point of the circle. Then I can say that I want my circle to have a radius of let's say 25 and could be a floating point value as well. So this allows me to create a circle of this size and on this location. Now before I add animation to it, let me complete the remaining steps of this example and then in between the two we're going to add the animation steps. So we're going to create a group to which we're going to assign the circle because this is the only object. Again, what is the point of having a group? This is your scene graph, the starting point of your scene. So now if you run this application, you will be able to see that it creates a small circle. So this small circle has a radius of 25 and 
it is being drawn at the meeting point of 3150 where the size of the scene is 600 by 400 which is from line number 22 right now it's not being animated I'm just showing you how to draw a circle if you change the center X to let's say 100 and center Y to also 100 and rerun this program you will notice that the circle actually moves closer to the origin which is 0 0 so you could place your circle wherever you like okay, so I'm just moving it a little bit away from X and a little bit away from Y and the reason is because I want to animate it and I do not want it to go outside of the scene so I'm gonna leave it at 150 by 150 so that is placed over there okay you can also change the color of the uh, pen so you can call a method called set fill which allows you to pick a color so so if I pick a brown color like that and if I rerun it, I should be able to see that the color has now changed to brown. Next, we're going to add this animation piece to it. So starting out with what we'll say, creating scale transition. So you're basically creating the transition of delay so you're saying I want it to be delayed by one second who do you want to get delayed is the next step so setting the node for the transition So my node is circle that I want to add transition to. And now I can add setting the dimensions for scaling. So I'll say I want my scale on x-axis to go up by one and a half times and I would like my scale y to also go up by one and a half times and I also need to play the animation so when I run it now notice it happens once so it starts out with a small circle and it grows larger which is one and a half times of its original size and this whole animation takes one second because that's what I set my duration to be if I want this to happen repeatedly then I need to set a cycle so set cycle count I can say I want my scale to have a set cycle count to let's say 30 so now the same animation will happen 30 times 1 2 3 4 5 so it just goes keeps going on till it hits 30 